Well, hey everybody, how you doing? It's Heaps EVA. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to a 911 first responder slash emergency four um, tutorial. This is number 10, if I'm not mistaken. Today we're going to talk about um, dealing with traffic light issues in the mods. And this comes out of a question that was asked of me and somebody asked if I could make a video about this subject. Um, and I'm going to do the best I can. And hopefully some of you others see this and go, man, I didn't think about doing that. I could do that. So we're going to start from a certain point so that you kind of understand where you need to go to make a small change like this that may impact your gameplay in a very positive way. I am in the editor for 911 First Responders or Emergency 4. Depends on which game name you have, same game. If you don't know where the editor is, check out some of my earlier videos, probably one through five. And I give a tutorial on how to create an icon and a shortcut to get to the editor. I'm going to assume that you've already watched that video and we're to the point where we've opened the editor and we're ready to do something. Okay. So here we are. There is no modification open on this in this program yet. We need to open a mod so that we can see what we need to do. So I'm going to open and it if you look there these are drop down menus the farthest to the right next to the farthest is modifications this lists all your modifications that you have on your computer that are playable and i'm going to choose the los angeles county modification and i'm changing it or i'm picking this one for two good reasons that i'll show you as we get into this so you highlight it click on it once the current map doesn't exist so you're not really doing anything so of course you want to switch to the mod say yes and it's going to take a second. It's the same amount of time to load the info into the editor as it is to load it into the, the game to play the mod anytime that you're feeling like doing it. So didn't take too long, but you notice there's nothing here. Well, now the modification is loaded into this editor and you could do a whole bunch of things. I could bring just a, a, uh, a fire truck in an object, you know, a house, LA equipment. I could do all that stuff and it would just put it on this grid <clears throat> where that's really important is where you see vehicles and let's say we wanted to go here and we put this unit on the scene i can do that but that isn't going to make any change in the uh demo demo mod that we want to do the question that came to me has to do with the issues with the traffic lights, so we need to open the map. Third drop list, we want to load map. There's no map to save, so I can say no in this case. We want to go to the map folder and open the free play E4M. And we've seen E4M maps before. Click OK, and again, it's going to take some time to get the graphics data um, loaded and up on the screen. So, and I'm just going to sit here and be very patient with that. I shouldn't have even talked about putting a fire engine on the map. That was completely, <clears throat> as my mind is over running it over while I'm waiting for this thing to load, as I'm like, that was stupid. Oh my gosh, that was stupid. But that's me in a nutshell, so what can I tell you? So I, I could cut away, but sometimes it happens fast and sometimes it happens slow. And you do need to know what to expect if you open the editor 
to do something like this. You can do from the very simple to the very complex in the editor. And once you learn it, it actually does some amazing things to any mod or to help you create your own mod. But right now, let's just focus on the task at hand. So it kind of landed us in an intersection. Your mouse is your friend, and that's how you're going to move around. It's actually backwards a little bit. You go left to spin right. And here we are in this intersection. So the wheel zooms in and out and uses, moves the camera just like it does in the game. Roll, sc scrolling is zooming in, in and out. And wherever your mouse pointer gets to the top and bottom and diagonals is where you'll move to. You can hold the shift button down and move faster. So here we are at a given intersection. And at this level, you notice that you see four traffic lights, which is a good thing. This is a controlled intersection, kind of block the carnage and bodies on the street out of your mind down the street there. Let's focus in on the issue. My guess, because I should have asked a few more questions, but I wasn't in a position to use my computer to really answer. I was, I am intending on addressing the most common problem with traffic lights in the mods right this very minute in 2017. And you're like, well, what would that be, Heap? It is that this game was written many years ago. Let's say 2006, because that's what the manual says. Well, it's 2017. So it's been a, in computer time, that is quantum leaps. And you know how fast stuff in computers um, goes. The video cards, the computers, the CPUs, the GPUs, all of the PUs, memory, all that stuff, how fast it goes compared to 10 years ago. Well, the software for this version of Emergency 4 or 911 First Responders has not been updated for many years. And so the software, while still runnable under Windows 10, because I'm on a Windows program, I don't know if Mac even runs this program, to be honest with you. Um, it can do a lot of the command structures much faster than a computer would have when this thing first came out. And it cre has created certain micro issues for people that still like to play the mods, which I'm on that, on that list, that we need to address to make it more playable for us. It has nothing to do with who developed the mod. They did a great job, but it was written before the point we're at right this minute in 2017, if you have a newer computer, that it can take advantage of things and move a little faster. Now, you don't want the cars blowing fast past you at 200 miles an hour. That's not the idea behind this. The idea here is, and I'm going to spin around, and we're going to kind of zoom out a little bit, and notice that we have two vehicles in opposing directions, controlled by traffic lights, and we want at least one car to be able to pull out in a... Uh, traffic light cycle, which is red to green to yellow to red. You know what I mean? We want at least one vehicle to go through. And then the light would change the other direction, and then the other car would go through. That should be pretty easy, and I would say that for the most part, if you play this mod the way it is written right this minute, you get that every time. Now, add three or four cars in each of these lines in all opposite directions going at each other, and they're all going to crash into each other here right in the middle if we didn't have any control over it. And you notice as you're playing this mod, as you zoom out, you're starting to get, forget about the traffic accident, like I said, and the traffic accidents down here, that you're starting to really get traffic back up around the corner, down the streets, and it's causing issues for your response. 
that tells me that the traffic lights aren't allowing enough cars through on a given cycle. And they may not, depending on the mod, and I have several, not let any car through. And sometimes the, the traffic lights just flash and the cars just sit there. Or they go, ah, and they run the red light kind of thing, you know. Or they blow up, which is very common in this game. So how do we fix that issue and not mess up the mod? I'm happy to tell you it's not as tough a, a fix as you think it might be. And it just requires us to do a couple of things. So I'm going to spin around a little bit. And we're going to look at these traffic lights a little closer. And you notice that right on the elbow of this traffic light that we're looking at with a little um, traffic camera on it, so it's taking a picture of you, it, you'll see it in very small red light lettering is traffic space number, space number, space number. In this case, it's four, two, and five. What does that mean? This game has certain um, conventions or standards for things. One of them is naming items. So we're going to click on the traffic light, which creates a green wire frame around it. Go down the bottom left to the properties button and push that once and you get an object properties box. Every object has a properties box. Some are bigger than others. Some are smaller than others. This one is for this traffic light. Notice that under the picture of the traffic light is the object name. And you're looking at all of these other X boxes and all that stuff. Pretend they don't exist. You don't have to deal with them because the base game already told them to, to how traffic lights work. So you really don't have to mess with it. We are absolutely only focused on the object name and what's in that box, because that's the thing you can change that has the most significant impact on your gameplay if you're getting jammed up with traffic. So let's talk about the object name. It's a convention, which means you're going to see the same style throughout this entire mod and I'll tell you every mod that I have is coded the same way. So the first thing is the name which for this object is traffic meaning traffic light. There's an underscore line that you didn't see on the letter here but it's here and it creates a space. The first number you see, which is the number four, is the number of this particular intersection. And when you're creating a map for a mod, you have to number every intersection that you're going to do traffic control on. If you're not going to have anything and they can blow through the intersection in any direction and hit each other, you're not worried about it. You're only worried about it if you put a traffic light on here. So the first number is the number of the intersection. And in a given map, you can imagine how many intersections there are. But you're only numbering the ones that you're adding these to. Then there's the underscore, and then you get to your second number. Well, what is that? That is the number of this traffic light. And I would guess, and you can zoom in on that, and I'm going to cancel this out because that allows me to zoom out. There are four lights, right? If we come in just a minute. This is number two. This is number three. This is number four. And this is number one on the left hand side. Let's talk about this one right here, which is really close to a um, street light. Be careful when you click because you can't click this by going through this. This one isn't bad because they're separated slightly. If I look over here, you might see that they're further apart. Just rotate just enough to keep them out of your way. So if we go to 
the first traffic light, which is number one is right here. You can see the numbers. Click on it, get the green wireframe, open the properties, you see that. Now we talked about the first and the second number. Now let's notice there's another underscore, which creates another space. And there's a number five. What significance is that? The last number in this sequence is how many micro clicks, ticks, parts of a second there are before the light changes color. Meaning if it's red, how long before it changes green? Well, in this case, it's five. And you're like, well, five what's? Well, I can tell you it's not seconds because that would take much longer than what we see in the gameplay. I say ticks. And it's an old um, programmer's um, thing for this, which is the, the um, things that, it, the timers that a computer uses to do various things um, also applies to software. So whatever timing it's using, it's using five of them to tell me how many whatevers before the light changes to green or back to red because it cycles, right? So five in this particular uh, mod may work great for you and traffic flows smooth or it may be a train wreck and you're not getting anything except backup after backup after backup and usually when you get backups, my experience is something's going to blow up. And that's either a good thing or it's a terrible thing, especially if you can't get fire engines to where the fire is and then you burn down half the city. And you don't have any extra fire apparatus and you can't get any off the map. Or they get stuck on a, the train tracks or whatever. So what number are we concerned about? Only the last number, which in this case is a five. The higher the number, like 10, 15, and I usually go in increments of five. You can go in increments of one. You can go increments of two. You can go lower than five, which will make the lights sequence faster, which usually creates more traffic. But you only need to change that last number. You don't have to do, and in fact, you may mess up if you accidentally rename this particular signal because it's attached to this intersection. So if we want to change it and we want it to go up, what I found, and I have an, a high-end i7 um, CPU, is that at 10, and I call it ticks, you can call it whatever you want, I get between two and three cars through a green light before it changes to red. And that seems to keep all of my traffic moving very slowly, especially in very congested city locations like Manchester, New York, those kind of places, the mods for those. I have gone higher than 15 at certain intersections, but they usually have more lanes. LA mod has four lanes on those two major streets. And so sometimes I kick that up if I notice I'm getting too much of a backup. And that's especially true where um, traffic accidents are programmed to occur in the middle of the intersections. It can cause you problems. I, I usually start at, at 5, see what I get. I move it to 10, see what I get as far as numbers of cars through on a green. And then if I'm not satisfied with that and I'm still getting significant backups or we have a short block where there's traffic lights at both ends of a block, sometimes that can create problems. I want to either juggle them or space them further so that I'm getting what I need. So how do I tell that I'm doing a good job? When you make the change, you literally have to save your changes and we'll talk about that in a second. And then you have to open the mod and play it like normal. That's the only way to change it. You can't test it in this environment and then go do it for reals. It has to be saved here as if you were rewriting the mod and then open the regular program and play the mod just like you would every day.
It's the only way to change it. And then you're always going back and forth and you can't have both open at the same time. It doesn't allow it. So that's that. So if you want to change five to another number, click all the way to the far right. I usually use the backspace key and change the number. In this case, let's say I change it to 10 ticks or 10 whatever's micro flops or whatever you want to call it. And that adds time for the light sequence. And what you have to do is, okay, you're going to click on this one. Hopefully we can get that. I wish you could just right click on it, but there's that doesn't happen. You have to push the properties button. Notice that it's at five, backspace 10. Okay. Over here, we're opening um, light number three. Click 10. Okay. Then we're going to go over here to signal number four, hit properties, back 10, and then click OK. The edit enter button doesn't really do anything for you. So now as you notice the name of the traffic light, we've, we have still traffic under space, but you can't see it. Four is the intersection. This is traffic light number one, which is the second number, and it is at 10 whatevers, clicks, ticks, microflops, zigzags, whatever you want to call it, before the light cycles. So let's say we made that change to prevent some real traffic headaches at this intersection. So what do we do now? You've changed it, but it's not saved. If you just exit the editor, it won't save this and it'll be back to the way it was the next time you open the game. If you want to save your change, you have to save the map. Third drop to load map or to save map, I'm sorry, brings up a small box. It already knows what map is open. So all you're telling it is click OK and it'll ask you if you want to do that. Click yes. It takes a second and now if you exit the editor that change is saved. If when you get out of this and I'll show you how to do that in a second you start it regular and play your mod whether it's Los Angeles County like I've got open or some others and it doesn't do what you want, you have to open up the editor again, close your game down, open the editor again, open the map, open the modification again, whichever one you're working on. I'm working on Los Angeles County. Open that up. Then you got to open the map, which for us is the free play map. And then you can make your changes at this intersection again. Let's say it didn't work. I opened it back up and I'm finding that that didn't work for me. I go back to the properties. Notice it's at 10. 10 was too much. So we're going to go back to 5 because of some issue. Who knows what? Every mod is going to have its own set of issues that you may have to address or you may be willing to just put up with it. It's up to you. This particular sub-program, which is part of 911 first responder slash EM4. Um, it's amazing that it has an editor with it. Most programs don't. So at least it allows you to fool around a little bit if you keep it to the simple. Don't get complex unless you know somebody that can help bail you out or you have a copy of your game somewhere because you may make a change that you can't fix. And you may have to reinstall the game if you make a significant mistake. So I try to stay to the simple. Um, traffic lights to me is one of the simple. So that's how to change that, which is probably going to address the vast majority of issues that I've heard about as far as traffic in a given mod, because the, the timing of the traffic lights was written or installed when we had slower computers than we do now. 
But there's one other issue I want to talk about. And I, I'm going to go over here. And this is the Los Angeles County mod, like I said. And I'm going to a specific intersection. And I want to show you something that you can experience in certain mods that may be purposeful because they want the kind of carnage that we're seeing here in the bottom of the map. It may be for some other reason that they don't want to control traffic lights even though they show up on the map. They could just be there for decoration. You don't know. If you click on that, you notice if I get close to it, it's not numbered because you're not seeing that red number like we see on the other ones. If you put the wire around this and open the properties, you'll notice in object name, it is not, let's say, programmed to function. Okay, so what can you do? Well, you would have to know how many intersections are already numbered to make changes to these unprogrammed lights. Now, if you want to, you can zoom out and scan back and forth by just moving your mouse and checking every one to figure out, which is what I wind up doing sometimes, to see how many intersections have our control. And then knowing that that number ends in the 20s, I would number this intersection like number 31. So you'd have the word traffic underscore 30, which is this intersection, underscore 1, so we'll make that traffic light number 1, underscore 10, which is 10 clicks or 10 milliseconds or whatever you want to say for this traffic light, all of a sudden it'll function. If you want the rest to do the same, you have to go around as long as you stay relatively standard about that and follow the the um, naming standard for the game itself, which has that word fat traffic underscore first to tell it it's a traffic light instead of a toaster or a dog or a car, I guess. I don't know what. And then you could go from light to light to light and all of a sudden create a controlled intersection. And I've actually done that on the New York 1.01 .01 mod that's out. This is a small um, neighborhood with two um, FDNY fire stations on it. I've actually had to reprogram or program a couple of traffic lights that had no programming. They might have been that way all along because you know and I know many of these maps have been recycled over and over again. So that's that and it's the same way like I said, you would click on this, you open the properties, you type in the thing here and just make it look like the others, change the intersection number to something that will that's unique to this intersection so that you don't overwrite another one. I honestly don't know what happens, but it can't be anything good. It's not going to crash the program. I think it just stops them all from functioning. And and then you know, number them and pick how long you want the lights to circle for or to cycle for. Will it affect any incident that's in the um, intersection? In my ex experience with what I've, the changes I've made so far in the mods that I have, the answer is no. So with that being said, I hope that answered in a, because I didn't want to take 50 minutes to talk about this video kind of answers the question that probably is about 85 to 90 percent of the issues that we're ha we'll have with the mod and traffic and intersections that are controlled by traffic lights. Um, and so we'll stop it at that. If you have any questions, if I didn't cover enough, ask please ask me more questions in the comments below. Um, your comments, anything you have to say in there, I appreciate that so much. And uh, I'll get right to them and answer any of them that need to be answered ASAP. So with that being said, thank you so much for coming by my channel. Again, leave the comments if you need to, the questions, etc. If I did a good job, please leave me a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job and I'm on course and going the right direction. If you, in, if you don't think I good, did a good job and this video was a train wreck, thumbs down. 
lets me know I got to go back and rework it and do a better job next time. Wherever you are on the planet, hopefully you're having a great day, great evening, wherever you're at. Hopefully things are going your way. You know and I know another video will be coming out right around the corner. Um, so you guys have a great week. Looking forward to the next weekend. Hopefully it's not as hot where you are as it is where I'm at right this minute. And we'll see each other in the next video. You guys take care.